What's up? Welcome to lesson one of my jQuery fundamentals course using my new jQuery Builder 2.0. jQuery is a JavaScript library that comes in every Webflow project. It's simple, fun, and easy to learn. By using jQuery, you can build uncommon interactions and remove some of Webflow's limitations. So let's get started. To build an interaction with jQuery, we follow about the same process we use when building an interaction in Webflow. For instance, if we want it whenever we focus on this form field, this circle in the background to slide up, in Webflow we would select our trigger element, which is the form field, we'd head over to the interactions tab, and then from our element trigger we have a couple different trigger types we can select from. Now Webflow doesn't have form field focused. They do have click or tap, but not everyone taps on a form field to focus in it. Some people will use the tab key. When we select our trigger type, we next had to create an animation. And once we have that animation, we have to select the element that we want to animate. We're gonna follow the same process in jQuery. Um, there's a couple different options Webflow gives us that we can choose from. In this case, we'll wanna move the circle down and then slide it back up. We'll also wanna animate its border radius from zero to 100% to round off the circle. Border radius isn't one of the options that we can animate inside Webflow Interactions. So this is another great time to use jQuery. We can create jQuery animations by adding and removing classes from elements. So if we want to animate this circle, we would set all the styles on the base class to how we want the element to look on page load. So I would probably move this margin to zero to push that circle all the way to the bottom. I would probably remove the border radius. And then we could add on a combo class, maybe a class called move that would change the radius back to 50% and would bring this uh, margin back to 88. So now whenever we add this class on, the circle moves up and it gets rounded again, but we need to see it animate. We need to see that transition. So with the base class selected, we can apply a transition in Webflow. And I'm gonna select all properties in this case, but it's a little bit more performant to only use the properties you're gonna want to animate. For now, I'll go ahead and set the uh, duration to 500. And now whenever I add this class on, you'll notice it gradually slides up and the border radius rounds out. Now we can set up our jQuery interaction. So we'll head over to the jQuery Builder. We can break down the jQuery Builder into three steps. First, we select our trigger, then we select the element we wanna animate, and then we apply an action to it to animate it. Let's start by getting our trigger element from Webflow. So this form field has a class of form field. Whenever we reference classes in jQuery, it's important we don't use any capital letters or spaces in the class name. So I'll go ahead and rename this to form dash field instead. Now I can copy the class of that form field and head back over to my jQuery builder and paste that in this trigger element field. Now, instead of click, we're gonna change this to on focus. So whenever we focus on the form field, this is our trigger, we need to find an element we wanna animate. In this case, it'll be the circle element, so we'll copy that class of circle and paste it inside our target element. And then for our action, what we wanna do is just add a class to this circle. And the class we wanna add is the one we created in Webflow called move. So we'll go ahead and paste this in this class field. Now we can copy all the code the jQuery Builder created for us. We'll head back to our project, go to the Pages tab, Pages setting, and scroll down to the Closing Body Tag section. We'll always wanna put jQuery inside of this section. We'll start by creating open and closing script tags that look just like this. Note that the second script tag has this forward slash right there. And in between the script tags, we paste our code. Now we can save, and to see these changes, we'll actually need to publish and check out the live site. So now on the live site, whenever I focus on the form field, the circle slides up. We also need to create a second step for when we focus off the form field to slide the circle back down. To do this, we'll come back to the jQuery Builder. We'll change our trigger type to focus out of the form field. We're gonna get the same circle, but this time we're going to remove a class and the class we wanna remove is the combo class of move. Now we can copy all this code and head back to our page in our closing body tag section. We'll paste the code inside the script tags. Just like we name our animations inside of Webflow, it's best to title these to stay organized. So I'll add two forward slashes here and then I can put whatever comment I would like. In this case, I'll call it form field focus in. And then I'll copy that comment and paste it down here and call it form field focused out. Now we can save and publish to check out our interaction. On the live site, when I hit the tab key, it focuses in, 
I hit the tab key again, it slides out. I can click or use the tab key or a combination of both to make this interaction happen. That's all for lesson one, and I'll catch you in the next one.